Well, another day, another video of me dyeing my hair. So, today, I'm going to be dyeing my hair. Again. So, I feel like it's a theme every summer that I dye my hair a color. So this summer, we're going to dye it. So basically, I have camp in two days, and I told one of my friends that I was going to dye my hair, or actually he told me that he wanted me to dye my hair, and I said, okay, maybe I'll dye it like before camp. Well, he probably doesn't remember that, but I'm dyeing my hair. This is probably the most scariest one because I don't want to mess up my blonde hair. I love my blonde hair, and it's really hard to get color out of my hair. So I'm really nervous to do this because I really don't want my blonde hair to get messed up. But it probably will anyway. I have a couple options. I can either do pink and like do an ombre with like dark pink and light pink, or I can do teal. I haven't done teal in a really long time. I actually haven't done it since like seventh grade. So oh, I think I actually might do teal. I was going to do pink, but I think I'm going to do this one. I think I'm going to do this one. I think. I think. Should I do this one? I just don't want it to like make my hair turn yellow. I'm going to question myself for a second. Okay, I want you guys to go right now into the comment section and comment down below what you think I'm going to pick. I'll give you five seconds. Five. <laughs> pink it is. I guess everyone loves pink. I do too, even though I use pink like every year, I love pink. So I think what I want to do is, so for the fall when I had my auburn hair, which you guys didn't really see, I actually filmed me dyeing my hair auburn, but I didn't upload it. But what I did with my auburn hair is I put pink like underneath, and then I also did the ends, so like I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't want to do pink all over my head. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the auburn hair, I'm going to do the underneath pink. With the front sections, I'm going to do some light pink like up here and then I'll fade it down into my dark flamingo pink. So this is the shirt that I dye in because it's really small and tight Lily. and it's purple. Yeah? Um, mom's about ready to get home. Can you move your car? Okay. Okay. I'm going to brush it out and then I'm first going to do the underneath. So I think what I want is I just want all the hair that is below my ears. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think I'm just going to do it all ends because I don't want it looking dumb. My hair is up, but the problem is, um, I tried doing the opera and mm, it looks a little rough, okay? Looks a little rough. I guess we're just going to see how it turns out. It's probably not going to turn out the greatest, and if it looks really bad, I'll probably just have to dye my whole head pink, which I really don't want to do, but I might have to if it doesn't look good. So, it's up in a bun right now. I'll have to let it sit for, I think, 30 minutes. Just want to give you a little tip. The best way to get hair dye out of anything, out, off of your skin, off of counters, out of, like, a carpet, is 
rubbing alcohol. I literally like just take a cotton pad and if I have it on my skin I'll just take it off my skin, take it off my counter, it cleans my counter, doesn't stain it. I got a little bit on my mat, bath mat, and it came up. I also fill my sink with water and rubbing alcohol and it gets it off my gloves and out of my brushes and my comb. Uh, just a little tip for you. So you're welcome. So I know now where I messed up. It says to put the dye from like root to tip. Um, and I went up. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so I guess we'll just see how it turns out. I'm really nervous and I feel like it's going to turn out really bad. But I guess we'll see. Um, I'm gonna wash it out with my really cheap shampoo so that some of the lines kind of fade and it's not so vibrant. Okay, if my uh, sound quality changed, it's because I took off my mic. So I'm taking it off a little earlier. It's honestly because I'm pretty nervous to see how it looks. Here we go. Just to get all the product out, I don't want any getting on my pillow tonight. Tip number two, use a towel that you don't care about. So now let's go dry it. <laughs> I'm scared. I think you guys think I'm lying when I say that I'm nervous, but I am literally nervous. Like, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, well.